Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Cromel School. Dual form nail extension is a very convenient and fast process. Nail techs really got to like it with an appearance of Acrogel. This technique is ideal for the techs who usually struggle with regular paper forms. In this video, I'll tell you 10 mistakes of dual form nail extension. Let's get into it! In order to apply the dual forms, I need to remove the old coating and the lens. And clean out the pocket under the cuticle with a red diamond flame drill bit. The first issue is a wrong nail plate preparation. It's important to make a clean manicure, which means removing the pterygium. Pterygium is a white or transparent pellicle that continues the cuticle on the nail plate. I'm applying the base coat on all the nails at once, in a very thin layer, with rubbing moves. If the material gets on the pterygium, the adhesion won't be good enough and liftings will appear. Process the nail with a soft 180-240 grit file. I don't use a buffer. In order to raise the scales of the nail plate and have a better bonding, use adhesive products. A dehydrator that dries the nail plate and a primer that acts as a double-sided tape. It will improve the bonding. The perfect material for dual forms is Acrogel. Some of them I apply directly to the nail plate, other require a base underneath. I'm using a flexible transparent base. I'm applying it in a thin layer. Such base will follow all the curves of the nail plate and the coating will hold on well. After curing the base, you can remove the tacky layer to prevent the dual form from sliding. The second issue is using the wrong form. A lot of things really depend on it. The beauty and the variability of the future nails depend on it. You should check the nail's condition and their type. Are they upgrowing, flat or curved? For the flat ones, use a slightly curved form and for curved nails, take a curvier one. If you want to sculpt long nails and pick sharply curved form for it, the nails will look like eagle claws, too tilted down. In this case, we choose a shape with a slight curve. My model's index nail grows down. The form with a sharp curve will suit her. Other nails are normal from the side view. I choose the sharply curved forms. I got the dual forms from the brand Neos, which I bought on AliExpress. If the nails curl strongly, we'll have to choose more arched forms. If the form is flat, you can use the following life hack. Squeeze it to make the curve sharper before you put it on the nail plate. We have to find a longitudinal arch and a transverse one. Now we need to find the form of the right width. Apply it on the top. It should cover the sides of the nail completely. If we can see a natural nail on the side that is not covered by the form and we'll try to press the form hard to cover the side walls, then the material will lie super thin, which will lead to further breaks in the stress zone. There should be a distance between the nail and the form from the side view, where the stress zone and the larger amount of material will be placed. It's quite okay if the form is wider than the nail plate. It's worse if the form is narrower. The third issue is a wrong amount. With a small amount of the material, the stress zone won't be strengthened enough. There will be cracks and nails will break soon. When there isn't enough material, we can see that it becomes transparent in the cuticle area and along the sidewalls. Such sidewalls will break down or crack very quickly. Cracks, lots of cracks will appear. The nails aren't strengthened properly in the stress zone. If there is too much acrogel, the material will leak everywhere during the form setup. It's better to remove the excess from the dual form before curing in the lamp.
The first problem is a wrong application. Apply the material on the dual form like you do while doing the nail extension. That means to keep more material in its central part, as it is a stress zone. And keep not less than 0.5 mm of the material on the sidewalls. I'm spreading the acrogel with a brush for acrylic sculpting, working with the flat side of the brush. I'm pressing the material and pull it. I don't work with the tip of the brush, since it will leave bumps and roughness on the surface. Moreover, it will be harder to spread it. Grab a drop for the future lens, roughly the size of a pea. For extra lens, the drop may be bigger. I put it in the form and soak my brush in the liquid. At an angle of 45 degrees, I begin to spread the material according to the nail sculpting rules. Remember that the stress zone, the apex, is in the middle of the form. And there should be more material. I don't stab the acrogel with the tip of the brush. To keep the surface flat, I smoothen it, pushing with its flat side. I create the nail shape that I need, so I don't have to file almonds from the squares. And check the thickness at the free edge. It should be around 0.7 to 1 mm. If the free edge is thin, it will break. Check the form from the top view. Check the material its thickness in the central part and at the end. When we are satisfied, we can move the form to the nail. The fifth problem is too much pressure. It often happens when the form was not chosen correctly. The nail tech tries to press the form to the nail too hard. Solid material breaks immediately when it's thin. Applying it to the nail plate, watch the dual form does not go aside. Don't make a mistake and avoid pushing the form too hard. We need to set the form carefully, without pressing it too hard. To spread the material well around the cuticle and on the sides. The sixth issue is the material leakage. Anything that went beyond the form needs to be cleaned up with an orange stick or a brush. Because every leakage is a future lifting. Often the material gets under the cuticle and you just can't see it. Examine the area carefully, in order to avoid the leaks. The seventh point – air pockets in the cuticle area. They often occur because we put pressure on the form's tip and it lifts up. This problem can also occur if the form does not fit the transverse arch. For example, you've taken a flat form for the arched nails and vice versa, you have chosen a too arched form for the flat ones. The air pockets appear. If you do see the air pockets in the cuticle area, then file them out with a carbide drill bit. Then fill this place with a small drop of acrogel using the brush. The eighth issue is a wrong form setup. The form went to the side, went up or down, the nails won't look beautiful. Be sure to always check the finger from the side. Make sure that the lower parallels come out of the gross point and they are parallel to the central axis of the finger. If you set the form too high, the nails will lift up. And vice versa, if you lower the form, the nails will look crooked. Check each nail from the side view. And adjust the angle of your form based on this. The ninth problem occurs when you don't spread the material from the inside. When the dual form is applied, some bumps are formed from the inside. You can file them out with a drill bit after the extension. However, the easiest way is to flip over the client's finger and gently level the material with a brush. This layering is much harder to e-file and it will take more time. Therefore, it's better to use the brush and smooth out the material. It's important that you don't press hard on the form to keep it from lifting up. The tense issue is overfiling in the cuticle area. There is so little material left that it can start peeling off during a manicure. Work carefully, don't leave the tip of your drill bit since you can drill through the nails. We only need to remove this visible layering and to smoothen the transition from the natural nail to the artificial material. If you want to see how I did this stamping design, you can go to my live channel Marina Litvinova. 
where I did this design during a live stream. Give a thumbs up if it was useful for you. And don't make any nail sculpting mistakes. Success in your work. Bye bye.